Good morning, everyone. I'm actually here just to sort of give you a, a brief blessing and uh, respond to any questions you may have, because unfortunately, I have to get to the other end of the constituency in Parashala, right near the Tamil Nadu border. So I would actually have to be heading off on a 45 minute drive right now. Uh, but I thought I'd spend 10 or 15 minutes with you to start you off on your day. And if you have, in particular, any questions on your mind, I should start off with one major disclaimer. I have never been an Indian civil servant. I have been an international civil servant and an Indian politician. Um, so that's a pretty dangerous combination because the rules of the international civil service differ quite considerably from the Indian and the rules of Indian politics differ very quickly from the Indian civil service. So I can't help you with things like what tips to undertake in an Indian civil service interview because I've never done one. I've only done the, uh, I've only done the, the, uh, the international career spending 29 years at the United Nations. But I can tell you what it's like to deal with uh, bureaucratic issues from the point of view of a politician and an increasingly impatient politician. I think that um, if, if you all have to think about your career, your potential future career in our government, I think the most important thing that I can tell you all is never to lose sight of the larger purpose of why you want to serve the government. Too many people in our country unfortunately think of it only in terms of a job, a salary, security, uh, pension, predictable life, etc. And that is the least honorable of the possible motives for being in the government. Because honestly you can get that elsewhere and you can get more money legally elsewhere. Working in the government ought to be a cause, ought to be a mission. You should feel a burning desire to make a difference. To make a difference either in the domestic services for your country, in the foreign services representing your country and people abroad. There must be always a sense that what you are doing is not pushing a file or attending a meeting or writing a good note. It is always with the larger objective of trying to advance your country's progress, the country to which you belong, the country in which you have grown up, the country of your ancestors and your children. That kind of passion is indispensable to, to order, in order to be an effective government servant. And the reason I say that is not just merely moral exhortation. It is because if you want to point to the besetting, besetting failure of our government, it is that our bureaucracy is far too much process oriented and not enough outcome oriented. In other words, the way in which government officials work, too much of the time is, they want to make sure that everything is properly minuted, the file is in order, every rule has been followed and applied, and then it doesn't matter. As the joke goes, if the operation is successful but the patient died, it doesn't matter. The operation is successful. That doesn't work. Because ultimately, the entire purpose of that process is supposed to be to ensure a good result. But in our bureaucracy, the process has taken over and the result has become less important. So I, whether it is studying the issues of education in our country, whether it is dealing with foreign policy, whether it's dealing with any of our national objectives, if I had to pick one major thing that I would change in the way in which our government does its work, I would make it much more outcome oriented. I would say that we must, the overriding objective must be effective results. The process is a means to an end. I'm not saying you should short circuit the process. Because if you short circuit the process, other injustices can happen. If you deny all the fair, all the voices of fair hearing, if you prevent everybody from having a fair opportunity, if you do any of those things, then very clearly uh, you are actually vitiating the outcome. But do not make the process an end in itself. Make the process a means to an end. That would be my single most important lesson for all of you.